So I walked in here and I saw some pictures about something called Escape Club and I was very interested to find out what you all are doing. What is Escape Club all about? It's actually an acronym. Escape is an acronym for Environmental Science Conservation and Photographic Excursions. And Clever. We, <laughs> very good. So, so we uh, we try to take one field trip a month, and uh, just last weekend we went to Año Nuevo State Reserve. Um, we did the little hike there and saw the sea seals and mm -hmm. heard some sea lions way out in the distance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, and then after that we were, we went to the Pacific up here, and we kind of just looked at the waves and enjoyed the sunset. Mm -hmm. So I went with all these kids here. Uh, did you guys have a good time? What did yes. you? What was your favorite part of the trip? I like seeing the sea lions fight. Uh -huh. I love seeing seals. Uh -huh. Yeah, when we were um, when we went down to the beach where the big sea lion was, right. we got to be very close. Right. It was. Exciting. You could really almost touch it, but we're really not supposed to be yeah. that close, and definitely should not be touching the wildlife. Right. What was your favorite part? Um, I like being in the outdoors and hearing like having the experience to see the animals and how they are in nature, how they act when they're like in a bunch together, just them. Did you have a favorite part? Yeah, my favorite part was when they were mating. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was some, some intimate moments there um, between the, the alpha bull and, and one of his harem. And then we, you know, so we saw some mating, we saw some really young pups, we saw some, uh, we saw some like bulls fighting with each other and competing and then we saw also kind of off to the side are sort of the loser males that don't really have any females and they have to be off by themselves but it's kind of nice to be around them too. We also saw the little sea lion when it was like barely born. It was stuck in the mud and then it like it took a while for it to get out and the bird was chasing it and the mother was defending it. We were thinking about going to the Marine Mammal Center over in Sausalito. They have a brand new facility there and uh, I'd like for the kids to be able to see that up close, what happens to even the elephant seals at Año Nuevo if something goes wrong or if somebody finds a sea lion that's uh, been hurt or stranded or whatever. They do a lot of nice things there and, uh, and I was able to see the new facility. It's really nice. Escape Club is very important because we get to help the, our community. Uh, Mr. I and also other volunteer teachers help us and they take us to field trips. We've been to Monterey Bear Aquarium. We observed the animals and how they are in the environment they have there. We also been to Año Nuevo. We've seen elephant seals, and from a distance, we heard the elef the sea lions. Yeah, you gotta get enough points by doing community service and being at the meetings to actually go to the field trip. I'm interested to know what you do to get these community service points. What what kind of projects are you all doing out there? Community service involves gardening and pick, um, pick, like bottle collecting. bottle collecting, like from students around the school, so okay. we can like um, make money from that, and also volunteer work around the school, like help teachers around when they have when they need help or something. So we try to just give um, give different opportunities. We want to be a presence on the school. We want to teach. Uh, sort of social responsibility to um, just to the community around us and, and give lots of different opportunities so they can help make the school look nicer. Um, they can help just conservation in general in the environment. They can just help out with uh, just the staff here. They can just go volunteer to a teacher. Hey, what can I do to help you out this week? Um, or or an administrator or whatever. We just try to make ourselves nice. have a presence yeah, on campus nice. um, in that way. And, Mm -hmm. responsibility in that way. Mm -hmm. So there's some things you could do only in a classroom, but then going out there and doing things in the field to be outdoors, to be on these wonderful trips that he plans for you, like at Año Nuevo. Well, we can learn about the animals and how they are. We can also help animals that are, might be endangered species mm -hmm. or anything, and we could learn about them and give them nutrition or things that they need just by going on the field trips and studying them. It's a lot different seeing them in person than it is in a book, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really want the kids to have a chance to see um, different careers in science and environmental science specifically. You know, I would really love to have one of those jobs, but um, but this is what I do, mm -hmm. and, um, and it actually gives me a chance to to introduce kids to these kinds of jobs. And what I really love is when they talk about taking other people back to the places that 
that we've Great. gone and I've had kids email me and say, hey, could I get directions to that waterfall we went to in Point Reyes? Mm -hmm. or, you know, that kind of stuff is really meaningful to me because that now I know it's, it's spreading. They're going to take their friends mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. a really valuable thing to me too. Since work, people that do work like the Marine Mammal Center is a nonprofit organization. Also, a lot of companies hire people that are naturalists or in natural sciences. Uh, to do this kind of work. There's a world of jobs out there that uh, young people can end up doing. Some jobs don't even seem like jobs because people like doing them and when they get paid they either donate the money or they don't take it at all. We're thankful for the escape club and all our teachers that are involved in the escape club and helping us. So we're happy to have Mr. I and all the rest of the teachers at this school. And Ms. Olovieva for having the garden club because it's important to us and to the community to help this squirrel, yeah. <laughs> So please come back I will. in May. I absolutely will. So our big date is open house. And the open house is, uh, I think, May 12th this year. So by mid-May, we will have something to show you. I'll also be on the lookout if there's any cuttings I can share with you. Absolutely. Like that. We accept mm -hmm. everything. We accept donations. We have tons of geraniums if you want to. We have uh, succulents. We have agapanthus. Anything that you want. To. 